welcome to another PHTV episode. My name is Audrey Hazel, but today it's Agent A. And my name is Jennifer Vargas. However, today we're going undercover and I'm Agent J. Phoenix High School, the information we're about to give you must sink deep inside your minds and you cannot forget this information. Students, Tuesdays through Thursdays, the library will continue to stay open until 425. For those of you in need of some extra help or time to get stuff done, if having a ride home is an issue and no need to worry, there is a bus to take you home. Also, on Thursdays, La Clinica Services will be here starting at 8.30 a.m. If you're in need of medical, physical, and dental reasons, sign up with Mr. Akil at the attendance office. Seniors, this is an important piece of information you must not forget. If you still have not turned in your senior photo, you must do so by February 27th. Also, Agent J here cannot make the senior video without baby pictures. Please drop off your baby pictures to Mr. Rhodes before the end of this month as well. Finally, seniors, the most important information for you to get buried into your brains, you must attend 80% advisory if you would like to walk at graduation. If you want to walk, go to class. Mrs. Hale and Mr. Cook have a few words regarding the requirements. Roll it. Attention seniors, Mr. Cook and Mrs. Hale have a few words for you about advisory and graduation. Good morning, Phoenix High School students. I am here today to talk to you about advisory attendance. Seniors, this is the first year we're making advisory attendance a requirement to walk at graduation. In addition to doing your senior-led conference, to completing your senior project, to completing your credit requirements, you have to have 80% attendance in advisory this year to be eligible to walk at graduation. If you don't have 80% attendance, we'll give you your diploma, but you won't be able to walk at graduation. If you've already missed six advisories this year, uh, you can't afford to miss any more. If you have questions about this, feel free to come talk to Mrs. Ingerson or I. Good morning, Phoenix High School. This is Mrs. Hale. I'm out here in Ray's parking lot, as you know, and I'm looking around at all the ways people are supporting their families they're holding jobs at Dutch Breaders. There are people working at Chevron. Tons of people working at Ray's, restaurants. They have jobs. I'm not standing in the high school right now because for our seniors, this is where they're gonna be. They're gonna be out of high school. They're gonna be hopefully getting employment to help them go to college. Some of you will be going right into college. Your options are pretty limitless, but no matter where you go, there you are. You're gonna take yourself into the workplace. You're gonna take yourself into college. You've got January to June to think about how many days of school you plan on missing, how many advisory classes you can miss and still graduate how many assignments you can do and pass your class. Because I want to promise you one thing. When I look at that man waving his flags, trying to get people to go to a, an income tax place, when I see people trying to feed their family on low incomes, do you know what they're thinking when they look at my high school? Why didn't I start sooner to figure out what I wanted. Why didn't I go to class? Why didn't I take advantage of a free education? I just want to care for you in such a way that I show you the truth. And this is truth. Life goes on. You will go to high school and some may graduate and some may not. Some may cry because they have to come back another year. Take a deep breath look in the mirror and give yourself a break. Change your practices. Don't give up. Never, never give up. I went to college, raised a family, and tried to make my way into this world, and it was not easy. And I failed, and I procrastinated. I did the same thing you're doing, but somehow I didn't give up. And that's what I'm saying to you. Don't give up. Keep this world in your mind. Ask yourself, there's nothing wrong with me working a year at Ray's or at Jack in the Box or at Dutch Brothers or standing on a street corner. 
if it'll get me where I want to go. I worked $3 an hour as a cafeteria monitor, okay? I did that for one year. I have worked as a babysitter. I took in kids. Why? Because we needed that extra money. I needed to think about where I was going to go in life. I decided to go to college. You're going to have different things that motivate you. Maybe you're in love. Maybe you're fearful. Maybe you're broke. Maybe you want a truck. But bottom line, have a reason to go to advisory. Make a reason to come to school and get your high school diploma. And hang in there. Believe in yourself. One day at a time, change those practices. Thank you. Seniors, make sure you attend all advisory classes. Relay for Life will be selling crepe paper flowers on Thursday, February 12th at break and in lunch in the Commons. Show your affection for someone with these charming Valentine flowers that will never fade. Oh, how sweet. All the proceeds go toward the struggle to end cancer. If you have a cute little crush or want to make someone smile, surprise them with a crepe paper flower. There is still time to join the Relay for Life team. Relay for Life will happen on May 16th and 17th at SOU. Meetings will happen on Friday at lunch. See Mrs. Barton for more information. Also, this Thursday, February 12th, we will be having a pep assembly. At this pep assembly, we will have a kickoff for Relay for Life. PHTV will make a $1 donation for every student that wears the color pink on Thursday for the Relay for Life kickoff. Students, show your support and wear pink. Last year we raised $150. Let's beat that amount this year, Phoenix High School. Students, think about who your favorite teacher is. Barnes & Noble is sponsoring a My Favorite Teacher contest. You can participate by writing an essay, poem, or thank you letter to your favorite teacher. At the regional level, you can win a $500 Barnes & Noble gift card for your favorite teacher. And then at the national level, you can win $5,000 for the teacher and $5,000 for your school. If you're interested, stop by the library and get an information sheet. Students, surprise your favorite teacher with this wonderful gesture. Mediation is happening at lunch. If you would like to join, see Mr. Cornette. Also, Phoenix High students, flash drives are prohibited. You need to use your Google Docs to save your work. Using flash drives can lose your computer privileges. At this time, any advisory signed up to attend the Drug Awareness Seminar in the theater are released for the presentation. Every Wednesday, Breezy and Leadership are still hiding the camel in a secret location. If you find the camel, turn, in, turn it into Breezy to receive your prize. Last week's winner was Chewy Marcedo. Congratulations. We would also like to say congratulations to Kylie Burns and Julia Holden Hunkins who qualified for state this weekend at the regional acting competition. Kylie qualified in the category of solo acting in which there were approximately 80 competitors. Julia qualified in the category solo musical in which there were approximately 70 competitors. If you're interested in the dance team, you can join at the Dance Open House February 11th from 5.30 to 6.30 in the library. All current and upcoming Phoenix High students and parents are welcome. Follow their Instagram at PHS Dance Crew and their Facebook page at Phoenix Dance Crew. Upcoming scholarship deadlines. Grange Co-op scholarships deadline is February 15th. ACPE scholarship deadline is also February 15th. The International Women's Day essay is due February 20th. And the deadline for the March SAT is this Friday. We have a segment to provide more information. Roll it. Sign up today if you would like to take the SAT. If you're interested in traveling to Peru over spring break in 2016, sign up now for a low monthly payment and a $100 early registration discount. Immerse yourself in the natural splendor and rich history of Peru. If you're interested in traveling on a Grecian Odyssey over spring break in 2017, sign up today for a $158 monthly payment and a $200 early registration discount. Discover a remarkable era in human history, one that saw key advances in architecture, politics, art, and philosophy. The Camelback Run will take place on February 28th at the Phoenix High School track. The race will begin at 8.45 a.m. Register online at camelbackrun.com. $10 early entry fee and $15 day of the race. Support the PHS track and field. 
This week's pirate specials are Monday for breakfast is French toast sticks, and for lunch there will be the famous pirate bowl. Tuesday's breakfast will consist of breakfast stacks, and for lunch, barbecue chicken burrito with Carolina-style slaw. Wednesday morning, there will be <laughs> breakfast burritos, <laughs> and at lunch will be Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes, gravy, and a pirate roll. Then on Thursday, breakfast on a stick, and lunch will be breakfast for lunch. Who's ready for a four-day weekend? I know I am. This Friday and Monday, there will be no school. When we come back on Tuesday, February 17th, it will be a seven-period schedule. We have a segment to remind you why we have Monday off. Roll it. By George, it's almost complete. Uh, I just need to finish up this bit and Make sure that that pesky James Madison doesn't take a bit of credit. Mr. President, I have an idea. And what do you suppose that is? What the people want more than anything is a day off. Brilliant. But what day shall we put it on? An excellent question, sir. What about your birthday? I think I know. What about my birthday? President's Day, February 16th, no school. When you have your day off next Monday, the 16th, remember our forefathers and the sacrifices they made to establish the greatest nation in history. Now we have an announcement for Matthew's Diner Senior Project. Several classes around the school now have donation boxes in them for Matthew's Diner Senior Project. If you see one, feel free to donate any pocket change you can spare. Donations go to the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, a.k.a. UNICEF, to help kids in developing countries get the vaccines they need. It's time for some sports action. In basketball, our boys and girls teams traveled across the mountains to Henley. Unfortunately, both teams fell to the Hornets. The boys' score was 30-42, to and the girls' score was 38-79. to Last Friday was senior night, and our teams both represented the community with hard-fought efforts. Unfortunately, both teams came up just short with our Lady Pirates falling 61-53 to and our boys coming up on the wrong end of a 45-31 to contest. In wrestling action, Phoenix cruised to a Skyline Conference dual victory at Hidden Valley High. Brandon Brumble, Jesse Daniels, Brandon Calhoun, Trace Vega, and Brady Vieira recorded pins for the Pirates, who improved to a 4-2 in league action. This past weekend, our wrestlers traveled to Cottage Grove and Phoenix's very own Trace Vega scored one of the biggest wins of the tournament with a 9-4 decision over North Medford's Trent Wilson at 195 pounds. Wilson was last year's Class 6A state champion. Richard Orndorff also won at the 132 pounds for the Pirates, while teammate Cedar King finished third in the same weight class. Tuesday was the last swim meet of the regular season. It was scored as a multi-team dual meet, so each team is scored versus the other teams present. Our boys won all seven meets against South Medford, Ashland, Cascade Christian, Mazama, Henley, and Crater. Our girls won five of their meets against Cascade Christian, Crater, Klamath Union, Mazama, and South Medford. Our boys and girls relays and several individuals are achieving state qualifying times. Hopefully they'll continue performing well and we will send them off to the state meet. Good job, swimmers. Well, that wraps up this very important episode of PHTV. Wait, Agent A. There's still one more very important part of this episode. You're right. Trivia. Well, last week's question was, what day is senior night for basketball? And the winner is... Carissa Waldron, who said February 6th from Miss Barton's advisory. Congratulations. Go pick up your secret prize from Mr. Rhodes. This week's question is, when is the dance open house? Make sure you stick around for the pledge. Agent A, this has been a good mission. As always, Phoenix High, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.